Today we are going to do wire bending for components for partial dentures. The equipment that we need for wire bending are Adam's plier, spring form on plier, wire cutter, and also stainless steel wires. Before we proceed to do the wire bending, first we have to draw the design of the denture on the cast. Next, you have to draw the design of the components on the teeth. Make sure the components that you are bending are below the undercut to have retention. When we are doing wire bending, it should follow the contour of the teeth and it should not be very close to gingival margin and it shouldn't exit to interproximal area. Now, draw the design of the ring clasp and draw the design of the tag too. Please make sure the tag of the components is not too long and it shouldn't go up to the surface area. And now, I'm going to show you how to bend ring clasps. And we are going to use stainless steel wire 0.7 mm. First, I'm going to straighten the wire with Adam's plier. Bend the tips of the clasps with spring former plier. Now, cut the tips of the clasps to get the C shape. Make sure when you cut the wire, it should face the floor. And now, use the pencil to mark on the wire before bending it using Adam's plier. Put the wire on the teeth and mark it with pencil and then bend it using spring former plier. After bending, please recheck that on the teeth. Please make sure the tip of the clasp is not too close to the detachable margin and it shouldn't exit to interproximal area. Bend the wire upwards so it's easy for you to bend the tag of the components. When you are bending the tag for the components, it has to be away from the tissue at least 1 mm. The tag mustn't be too long and it shouldn't touch the sulcus area. Mark the tag with a pencil so that it can bend 
a L-shaped tag. Cut the excess wire with a cutter. And please make sure when you cut the wire, it is facing towards the floor. This is a completed ring clasp. The tip of the clasp are rounded using stored work. Use your finger to check that the tips of the clasp are rounded and there is no sharp edges. Seal the tag of the ring clasp with modeling wax, a very thin layer of modeling wax. And now, this is a completed ring clasp. And now, this is a completed ring clasp. For the premolar, I'm going to do C clasp. And before doing the wire binding, I have draw on the kit. And the tag for the C-claps is going to be on the ridge because I don't want the tag to cross over the rest area. To bend the C-claps, I'm using stainless steel wire 0.7 mm. Same concept applies like how we did the ring claps. Straighten the wire. And then bend the tips of the clasps using spring former pliers. Cut the tip a little. Put the wire on the tip and mark it using pencil before bending it using spring former pliers. And now I'm going to bend the tag. Bend the tag to a small V shape. And now I'm going to cut the excess wire at the tag area. Put back the C clasp and make sure it fits well to the teeth.
according to the contour of the teeth. The tips of the clasps are rounded with stone girl. And please make sure there is no sharp edges. And then seal the clasps to the cast. And now, this is a completed seal clasp for pre molar. I'm going to show you how to bend Y bar. It's a ready made Y bar. It is also called gingival approaching clasp. Before we bend, Apply a thin layer of modeling wax at the tissue area. The Y bar must be below the survey line to provide retention for the denture. As usual, before you bend, mark with pencil and then you bend it with spring formal plier. Before you bend the tag, please make sure the length of the wire from the cervical margin is 3 to 5 mm. Bend the tag according to the design that you have drawn earlier. Use a wire cutter to cut the excess of the wire. Please make sure the tag is not too long. And seal it with modeling wax. And now, this is a completed Y bar. Please make sure the tag must be away from the tissue at least 1 mm. Today, I'm going to show you how to make rest for acrylic partial tension. These are called rest wires. They are half Sphera wire and as you can see here we have two sizes the bigger ones are for molars and the smaller ones are for premolars now I'm going to show you how to bend press for premolar the flat surface should face the rest area of the teeth and the rounded surface should face upward. When we are doing rest, it shouldn't disturb the occlusion of the teeth.
As usual, before I bend, I have marked it with pencil. And I'm going to bend it using Adam's plier. And now I'm marking to make a L shaped tag. And now I'm going to use the cutter to cut the excess wire. The tip of the rest must be rounded with round burr to make sure there's no any sharp edges. Same concept applies to band rest for the mola. And now this is a complete set that I have banned all the components and the rest.